Hello everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Co Cave. I always want to say Cove, I don't know why. But anyway, I believe we can head to the Three Finger Rock now. Go see Dr. Kim. Or well, we don't really have the... There we go. Okay, we need to put the coordinates in. 1924-42. And then 15591. Alright. There we go. Let's see if she's actually there. I'm not certain that she is. Well, that looks like three fingers, so it's an appropriate name. What is that sound? It's whispering according to the, to the subtitles. Can I... Okay, I can. I just had to wait for the whispering to stop. There's a little flag marking the trail, I guess? Now's our blue flag. I wonder if the colors are significant. Wait. Oh, hello. I, I probably... Oh, I don't know what I just did, but I did something. I was gonna say I probably shouldn't be messing with this without knowing what it is, but I guess it's too late now. Wait, was there something at the red flag then? I have to know. There is! Okay. These are probably like Dr. Kim's samples, and I have no clue what I'm doing to them, but I'm doing something. Maybe I'm getting something done early, maybe I'm messing things up, who knows. She might ask me to go around collecting stuff in a minute. I like the idea of Nancy just seeing random stuff out here and messing with it for no reason. Cool little, um, would you call these tiki heads? I like them, though this bridge does not look safe. Hello, Dr. Kim. Oh, does this have to do with the clipboard with, like, the chart on it back in the camp? Okay, there's a winch. Oh, I hear humming. I think she's actually here. It's amazing. Hello? Are you Dr. Kim? Yes! Your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? That's me. Terrific, because if you're Nancy, then you know who I am, and we can skip any further time-consuming introductory rigmarole and get right to work. Sound good? Uh, sure. Good. Now, I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus, but Hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps prey upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... Ah, oh, nuts. Dr. Kim, is something wrong? Well, yeah, something's wrong. I no longer have any idea what I'm talking about. And please... Just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects, a hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Of course, this was because he was secretly feeding my insects to his snakes. 
and to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. What? Wh what happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Now, let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. Look, I'll go back and get it, okay? I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. <laughs> the sooner you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Ah, uh, that is what... Oh, shoot. I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed her camp. That is what we're doing with the clipboard, then. Okay. Uh, Lepidoptera. Are those butterflies? I know that there are parasitic wasps that feed on um, caterpillars, so that would make sense. Alright, here we go. Uh, clipboard, where is it? It's, uh, where is it? I forget. Somewhere in here. Not here, not here. Ah, uh, here we go. Time to do some science! Yes. I like insects in general. There are some that I do not like, such as cockroaches and mosquitoes and stuff like that. But I like pretty much everything else. I'm back! You've got my clipboard. Good. Let me have it. The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? I, I didn't tear it off. Then where is it? I don't know. Nancy, I asked you to get my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? I didn't tear that page off. Wh whoever trashed your camp did. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? When I got there, your camp was a mess. It still is. It's like someone came in and just tore the place apart. Oh. I tried to tell you over the radio, but the transmission kept breaking up. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect and analyze all the data again. Or should I say, you'll have to. No problem. You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty each one into a color-coded baggie. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame. We'll be on Oprah, late-night talk shows. Somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in L.A. last year. Well, he hasn't produced anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? You're digressing? Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await! Woohoo! Well, she's not the friendliest person, but her enthusiasm is a bit endearing to me. Uh, do I have all of the, uh, the samples I need? Check. 
check. Done. Did that. Did that. Check. I have four. How many are there total? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing green and orange, I think. Oh, green might be a bit hard to see. I hope she doesn't expect me to be able to recognize which plants these are. Okay, I think we already got this one. Just slowly inching my way through the forest, so I don't miss anything. Okay, we got that one. Okay, well I guess that's... All that was here. Were there any back at base camp, actually? I don't recall. Well, I guess we'll just work with what we have. Oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I gonna do all that frass sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, maybe I should go see Dr. Craven again. We're gonna ask this dude for so many favors. So I guess we could work out some sort of bartering system where we do work for him and then he gives us stuff, so I guess that's not too bad. Hello, angry security guard. State your business. Oh, it's you. What is it now? I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. Only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent. And needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. Yes, sir. Though if it's so important, you probably should do it yourself and not give it off to a person you've met like three times. Uh, where's the fertilization stuff? Wait, did we ever go through this door? Hey, put on a suit if you're gonna come out here. Darn it. Okay, I guess that's like the greenhouse. They're probably working with, like, the experimental biochemical stuff in there. So it makes sense that they wouldn't really... Where'd, where'd all your beans go? Aww. Where did the, uh... 
Ah, oh, darn it. I know I've, I've, I stumbled across it before. We'll find it one day. Can't check that out now. I, I don't know where it is. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, are you going to give me any hints on what I have to do here? Or do you just want me to guess randomly? Can't check that. Still need to do that. I guess I'm guessing randomly. Well, please don't be too mad at me if I screw up. So you haven't left me with any instructions. Oh, how do I get back over there? Ah! Oh, it's over here. Okay. It's not really visible on any of the other maps. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Okay, this one likes green. This one does not like green. Okay. So I'm guessing I want to avoid them. I'll probably fail if they droop too much. So I've got to be careful. What about this one? That should do it. Hey, that worked out. Cool. I am satisfied. What is it now? I fertilized those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? I have thoroughly enjoyed talking to you. Good luck entomologizing. Thank you. See you later. Yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those seedlings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh, tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. Yikes. Hmm, he has some anger issues. Alright, well, we're going to forget that happened and just do our own research now. What I need is a lens. We have one, Nancy. Looks like this has a built-in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. I still don't know what frass is. I didn't look it up last time. Okay, it's like little bits of bits of bugs. Is that it? Well, purple is 637. Right? Am I doing... Should I be sorting things? I don't know.
Number of seeds. Are these seeds? Is that a seed or is that a bug part? Or are these all seeds? I don't know, these look like pupa to me and these are very worm looking. And that's definitely a bug head. And that's a leg, so... Well, that's a seed. What is frass? Hold on, I'm, I'm actually going to look this up. Okay, find powdery residue or fragile perforated wood produced by the activity of boring insects. The excrement of insect larvae. Cool. I don't... How do I identify that? Tell me. Okay, it's bug poop. Well, why didn't you just say so? Interesting. Alright. How do I tell any of this apart? <laughs> I I don't know what I'm doing here. Done. I would like a hint, please. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, how's it going? I went looking for Dr. Kim at this private research facility and found a mad scientist named Dr. Malachi Craven instead. Ever hear of him? No. Is he a bug guy, too? He's part botanist, part biochemist, but mostly he's a grouch. What's he working on? Don't know. It's top secret. Why were you looking for Dr. Kim there? For some reason, she had a security pass to the place. Dr. Craven said she'd stolen it. Why would she do that? Good question. I need to ask her that. Rumor has it that the Healy Healy, that's the name of Craven's research facility, Rumor has it that whatever he's doing up there is destroying the local pineapple crop. Yikes. I finally located Dr. Kim, or Quigley as she wants me to call her. Is she all right? She's fine. Did she say why her camp was all torn up like that? It was news to her, but then she just kind of shrugged it off and put me to work. She says she and I are on the verge of some great discovery. That's exciting. Of course, there's no telling what an entomologist considers to be a great discovery. Well, that's it for now. Call again, okay? I will. Bye. I I wanted a hint though. Oh well. Did I just call Ned again? I meant to call the Hardy Boys. <laughs> Whoops. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, how's it going? Well, that's it for now. I miss you, you know. I miss you too. Talk to you soon. I doubt Joe will answer, but maybe we can get Frank. Hello? Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he going to be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew. This Quigley lady sounds like she's going to be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Nope. So far, so good. Okay. But if you change your mind, just let me know. I will. So how are you doing? I'm trying to figure out whether what happened to Joe was just bad luck, or whether there's more going on around here than meets the eye. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, just holler. Deal. I'll talk to you later. Bye! I wasn't expecting to change characters, but I'm happy about this. Alright, so Frank, what do you want to do?
I can check. I can check this. Can't check that off yet. Okay, check around the immersion, immersion center to see if there's any clues as to what a, who attacked Joe. Well, that looks like a clue. Davy's Pawn Shop. They paid in cash, four hundred fifty-one dollars. All right. Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while, but he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Does that happen a lot? A couple times a year. As soon as they see me, they run like heck, but today I wasn't around, so <laughs> somebody figured he'd help himself. Is anything missing? Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. Hmm. Do the police have any leads? Nah, real low priority case for them. The one guy I talked to barely looked around. But hey, you want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Ah, thanks for the permission. Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. <laughs> Good talking to you. Catch you later. Okay, well, was there... Oh, there is a phone number on there. 808-545-7939. No can do. a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure. What's the number? It's receipt number 57441. Hang on. Hmm. How well do you know this guy? I don't know him at all. Total stranger. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy, too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently, he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number, too, but he never picks up. Interesting. Think you could give me Kuto's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. Uh, just in case Frank didn't write that down, I'm gonna write it down myself. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. Huh. What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Huh. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Hey, no problem. Good luck to you, mate. Interesting. So we should probably go ask, uh, Pua what's going on, see if she has any ideas. Hey Frank, how's Joe doing? He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? Nah. <sighs> that's a relief. The guy who clobbered Joe, what do you think he was doing in your father's office? You know, you sound just like the police. They asked me the same thing. Should should we just say it? Will she believe us? I don't know if she will. That's because my brother and I are actually undercover detectives. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I told the police, I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. What? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? 
Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So, whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is, from the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Nice. Think I could see it? The chart? Sure. The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. Um... I'm lying, but deal. Deal. I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. I feel guilty already. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Never heard of him. Think Pua knows him? She might have gone out with him or something. Why are you asking? I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this Kudo guy, but I don't. I'm curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? Tell you what. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. You know, I've always heard it as shaved ice, not shave ice. Is it sort of like the difference between iced tea and iced tea? I guess so. I think I can handle that. Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Okay, logic puzzle. And get some ice and then do you like watermelon? It's all watermelon. Feeny, now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. It's my favorite flavor. I love watermelon flavor. The fruit's okay, but for some reason the flavor is even better than the fruit. Want something else? Got a shave ice for you to try. Let's have it. No, I don't like any of those flavors. Try again. <laughs> but he ate the whole thing. Okay, let's try a combination then. We've got, what is this? Uh, is that a lemon or is that like some kind of mango? And then... Banana. There. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. Just trying to eliminate some possibilities. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. I only like one of those flavors. Try again. All right. So one of those three. There. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. Nope, I don't like any of those flavors. Try again. This is probably not the most efficient way to do it, but I'm just eliminate eliminating possibilities right now. There, 
Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. <sighs> I only like one of those flavors. Try again. Okay, he likes that one. Good. That was the green, right? All right. So green and then what's this? Coconut and pineapple. Feeny, let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. So we know he likes the green. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. <sighs> mm, you got two of the flavors, right? Try again. Okay, he likes one of those. Is it the blue? Do you like that blue? Do it. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. If he doesn't like the blue, then he must like the pineapple. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. <sighs> mm, you got two of the flavors, right? Try again. Okay, green and blue. Now we just need one more. Feeny, let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. I hope this is the right one, because this is like my three favorite colors right here. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. <sighs> mm, you got two of the flavors, right? Try again. Ah, oh, he doesn't like grape. Disappointing. I can't blame him. When I was little, my parents would give me like this grape-flavored children's cough medicine. And now I just cannot stand a certain flavor of grape. There's like a powdery grape flavor and it's just ugh. That should do it. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. My, sis my sister's the same way with cherry flavored things because she had cherry flavored medicine when she was little. Want something else? Got another shave ice for you. Let's have it. <sighs> you did it. That was my favorite flavor combination. Lime, coconut, and mango. I call it Honey Awa. That's Hawaiian for sour kiss. Thanks for your help. Catch you later. Hmm. Lime, coconut, and ma mango sounds pretty good. Okay, Honey Awa. Where is the, uh... Oh yeah, the chest is outside, isn't it? Looking dude. Looks like he has something to do with getting into that chamber thing. But what? I've never seen him before. But maybe Nancy has. Hello? Hey Nance, it's me. Listen, I just came across something kind of weird and I thought I'd see if you knew anything about it. I'd love to be able to help you. What is it? Well, it's a drawing of this creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with all these animals on them. What kind of animals? Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. Hmm. Doesn't ring any bells, but I'll keep my eyes open, okay? That's all I ask. Thanks, Nancy. My pleasure. Bye. Alright, cool. Well, I think I'm gonna stop here. I like how we're making progress on both sort of investigations simultaneously. That's a lot of fun. It's, it's a nice change of pace from previous games where we were, where we were Nancy the whole time. And I mean, the, the, game, the game series is named after her, so that's not really a problem, but I think it's fun to be different characters every now and then. Anyway, I guess next time we're going to try and finish up this, uh, frass examination. Still not entirely sure what I'm doing there. I think I need to separate things out and record the weights that way. 
But I haven't quite figured out what to separate yet. <laughs> and it seems like there may be a, like a smuggling slash fencing operation going on. So that's interesting. I'm curious to find out more about that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!